Visualization is an essential skill of designers, engineers, analysts, and manufacturers. Giesecke, in his Engineering Graphics and Technical Drawing textbook, states, Envisioning objects in three dimensions is one of the most important skills. He goes on to state, Spatial thinking skills and the ability to sketch allows you to communicate your ideas quickly and accurately. This said, we have all been tricked by drawings meant to deceive the eye. Take for an example this image. Most people think, looking at it for the first time, they see an old woman wearing a white hat. However, as you continue to look at this image, you should soon see a younger lady looking over her right shoulder. When we create views of mechanical objects, the goal is to send one and only one interpretation. Notice this goblet. Or is it two silhouettes about to kiss? Which of these interpretations is correct? From our earliest memories, if we have been blessed with normal sight, everything we have seen in the physical world has been in three dimensions. We have learned to judge distances, understand depth perception, orientation, and so forth. At an early age, children are asked to draw on paper what they have seen in three dimensions. We each learned to map the 3D physical world to the 2D piece of paper. Some do this better than others. For example, an organized collection of physical toys become an assignment for children to sketch on a piece of paper. The results would look something like this. This drawing was done by my nine-year-old grandson who has been drawing pictures since he was three. This is another example of a collection of physical toys with its 2D sketch done by my granddaughter who is six years old. You should realize that your spatial skills have been in development over the course of your lifetime. It is also worth noting that anyone can refine and enhance their visual and spatial skills through consistent practice. Mapping from the physical or virtual 3D world to the 2D world of sketches and drawings. Equally important to practicing is the mapping of the 2D drawing world to the mental virtual or physical 3D world of objects and parts. If you have an interest in developing your sketching skills, check out the website artforkidshub.com. Spatial skills center on how we see, visualize, or perceive objects in our physical world or in simulated digital worlds. One of, if not the most important aspect of visualization is the ability to orient oneself within the current environment. Another important visualization skill is the ability to mentally rotate and or translate an object and know with certainty the resulting scene without needing to actually make the rotation or translation. Relativity is the skill to judge which object is more forward or further away, overlapping or intersecting 
larger or smaller than others. Finally, visualization would not be complete if we could not determine what horizontal and vertical are. If we have well-developed spatial skills, we could mentally take this tuning fork and rotate it so that it sat flat on a horizontal plane. Instantly, we would know the new scene without the need for doing the physical rotation. Likewise, we can imagine what the scene would look like staring down the prongs of the tuning fork without needing to do the physical rotation of the fork. In a similar way, our spatial skills should prevent us from creating this drawing of the tuning fork. That is, unless we are being asked to make an optical illusion. M.C. Escher's ability to draw believable illusions made him famous. However, in the mechanical engineering world, we focus on sending one and only one manufacturable interpretation of an object or part. Some textbooks provide basic visualization assessment, assignments, and related study materials. If your textbook lacks visualization assessment material, here are a few links I would recommend. I encourage all of you to take an assessment before proceeding too far in this lecture series, and then redo your visualization assessment once you have completed this series. Your textbook should have examples of scenes that you can use for practice. Use their provided scenes to determine each viewing point. In, this exam in these examples, you should be able to quickly orient yourself in the scene. In the lower left, you are looking straight into the front view of the scene. Lower right, you are seeing the back of these objects. And in the upper scene, you are positioned to the side and above the objects. Here is the same scene from the previous slide. What would this scene look like if it were rotated 90 degrees about its world horizontal axis? Hopefully you pictured something close to this. What would this new scene look like if the siloed object were reflected about a plane two units from its base. You should have mentally constructed this scene. If the plane had not been two units below the base, but symmetric or reflected about the base, what would it look like? Again, you should have imagined a scene similar to this. Returning to the pictorial scene, can you determine relationships? What objects are in front or behind other objects? What objects overlap or intersect other objects? Which objects are larger or smaller? Finally, can you tell which lines in these two scenes are horizontal and plumb, meaning vertical? In the left scene, the bottom line is not horizontal. In the right scene, the bottom line and the two lines that rise from the end point of that line are not respectively horizontal and vertical.